What's up guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have something I really want to share with you and that is the number one thing I learned after working with over a hundred data scientists. Specifically, what is the key differentiator between people who landed their dream jobs and people who gave up in their job search and settled for less. I am so excited for today's topic because this is something I think the sooner you realize, the more benefit you will gain. Or if you have been job searching for some time and you haven't seen results yet, it may help you understand why. To start with, let me give you some context. As some of you may know, I started my YouTube channel about two years ago. So far, I have had the privilege to work with over a hundred data scientists through my free consultation, mock interviews, coaching program, and courses. And I learned a lot of things along the way. While everyone has their own personal journey, I have found that one thing in particular stands as a major obstacle for many of my students and the clients. Surprisingly, the main difference between people who land multiple job offers and people who ended up giving up isn't a lack of experience or technical knowledge. It is actually something a lot more subtle, a lack of confidence. For so many of the people I have worked with over the past two years, the main problem keeping them from moving forward in the process is a lack of confidence. They just don't have the confidence to keep pushing forward and continuing your job search process. Sadly, this lack of confidence causes some people to ultimately give up in their job search. On the other hand, people who gain confidence over time have the energy and the right mindset to move forward and see results in a few months. So learning how to deal with low confidence is important. And it's something that I have helped many of my clients overcome. And I'm happy to share with you how I have them overcome it in this video. But the first question I want to address here is not how to fix low confidence, but where it comes from in the first place. I have observed several reasons that the people might lack confidence in their job search. They may have been laid off, like what I had been through a few years ago. So their self-esteem took a hit even before they started looking for a new job. It is also possible that they may have been searching for several months without any results. They may not get any interviews. They may have failed a few interviews. They feel that they have already put in a ton of time and effort and are getting nowhere. If you are in a similar situation, I totally get it. I have been there before and I remember how hopeless I was. So there are many reasons, but I think that a lot of those reasons and ultimate lack of confidence are tied to a common misconception about the job search process. And that misconception is that interviews are a numbers game. Why that is a misconception? Believing that interviews are a numbers game can impact your confidence if you are struggling to get interviews. If you think that you will only land a job after going through a certain number of interviews, you are going to worry and lose confidence if you are not getting a lot of interviews. Also, if you are focused on the number of interviews you are getting instead of preparing for each interview, you are going to get frustrated and lose confidence when you continually fail to convert those interviews into offers. So this becomes a vicious cycle, as you can tell. You worry about not getting enough interviews, and you work hard on getting more interviews instead of preparing for the interviews you already have. The end result is you may fail some interviews. Both failed interviews and not getting more interviews may rob your confidence. Take for example one of my recent students. This person is an experienced data scientist with over five years of experience and was looking for a better job opportunity in top tier tech company. She had started her job search half a year ago before she met me, and she had failed around 15 to 20 interviews. She was exhausted and frustrated. And the first thing she asked me was how many interviews on average people needed to land a job offer. And she thought the key to why she hasn't got an offer yet is due to not having enough interviews. In this question, I could see that misconception about interviews being a numbers game at play in this person's thinking. She thought that if she just got enough interviews, eventually she would land a job. When she continued to fail interviews, she only got more and more frustrated because she believed that eventually the numbers would pay off and she would get an offer. But the job search is not a numbers game. I made this mistake during my own job search and once I changed my goal from getting more interviews to doing well in each interview I got, I started getting results. So the focus should be not on landing as many interviews as possible, but on doing well in each of them. I taught that student to post more interviews she wasn't ready for and how to be fully prepared for each of them. 
Three months later, she landed offers from companies she really desired to work for. So to prevent losing confidence, it's important to realize that interviews are not a numbers game. You might not be bound to see results if you just search long enough and land enough interviews. The harsh reality is that the more interviews you get don't mean the more offers you are going to get. You want to focus on improving your skills to be prepared for each interview. Of course, that's easier said than done. In your job search, you will face some setbacks and failures. Your confidence is likely going to take a hit even if you know that interviews are not a numbers game. That brings us to our second question. How do you build confidence? Here's what worked for me and I really want to share this with you guys. The key is to care less about the outcome and continue trying despite feeling unconfident. It might be counterintuitive as many people think that confidence comes from getting good outcomes. But think about it. If this is the case, then you will never be confident in your job search before you land an offer. If you are focused on outcomes, only landing a job offer will give you that confidence. However, you need to appear confident and capable in interviews. It is hard to land a job without some confidence. But if you are focused on outcomes, you won't be confident till you land a job. Clearly, that is not going to work. So instead of focusing on outcomes for building confidence, it is important to realize that confidence is built over time by doing the work consistently. It means that you focus on the work you are doing despite feeling unconfident or having imposter syndrome. It's not that you listen to someone and you read a book and you suddenly have the confidence. The fact is, confidence is built over time by putting into the work repeatedly and consistently. You build confidence step by step. Let me explain how this works better with an example from my own life. When I started my YouTube channel, I had absolutely zero confidence. I had never made videos before. I wasn't a good communicator and I wasn't confident in front of the camera. In fact, to this day, I'm embarrassed whenever I see some of my earlier videos. The most common question I got was how to get the very first data science job. I promise you that you could learn so much from this video because I'm going to share the exact frameworks that I use. However, what I learned by starting this channel and making those early videos is that confidence is built in the process. At this point, I've made over a hundred videos for this channel and my courses, and I am so much more confident now. I know there are still lots of things I need to improve on, like my content and delivery, but I am confident that if I'm willing to put into the work, I can create valuable videos that are helpful for you guys. Now, if I had waited till I was super confident to start making videos, I would never have started this channel. I was never going to feel confident about making videos until I had actually made some videos. What I learned from my own experience is that confidence is a process. There wasn't one thing that gave me confidence. My confidence grew from seeing the progress I have made and the work I put in. Of course, I made mistakes, a lot of mistakes along the way but I also saw myself improving and where I could continue to improve. Job search is the same. Focus on the work you are putting in instead of the outcomes. Even though there are things you feel are not perfect, do you still want to get started anyway? You can build your confidence with practice. For example, you probably don't want to test your skill levels in real interviews, but you can do mock interviews or even just record yourself answering questions and analyzing your performance before the real interviews. You do a ton of them and you build the confidence to express yourself and present yourself. The important thing is to put in the work and the practice. That's the secret to being confident in interviews. So the takeaway I want to share with you guys is that interviews are not a numbers game. Don't worry about the number of interviews you are going to get. Instead, focus on doing your best in each interview. Also, losing confidence is something that almost everyone struggles with in their job search. You are not alone if you struggle with your confidence. Like I said at the beginning of this video, lack of confidence is the number one obstacle I see in the people I work with within the past two years. Real confidence isn't built in a day. But if you can build your confidence piece by piece by putting the effort despite feeling unconfident, then you are making progress. And that's how you build confidence over time. Practice makes perfect and practice also makes confidence. Confidence is a topic I love talking about. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe your perspective on confidence shift a little bit. Let me know what you think and any questions you may have. If you want to stay updated about my upcoming videos, please make sure to subscribe.
See you soon.